So we're going to show you how to use uh, two of my favorite tools uh, to measure the airflow coming out of a supply register in a house. Uh, a coat hanger, which I have shaped in the general shape of a register that's about 6 by 12, and a 30 gallon garbage bag. Uh, uh, this is next to nothing and this is also very inexpensive and yet this is one of the more accurate ways to measure airflow because you're actually measuring what you're trying to measure instead of doing math to convert pressures to a flow rate. Um, we're going to measure the cubic feet. That's what this thing is going to contain. It's going to contain a volume of a certain amount of cubic feet. In fact, that 30 gallon garbage bag is a 4.01 cubic feet. And I'm going to use a stopwatch to measure the time that it takes to fill the garbage bag. And then I will have directly measured exactly what I want to measure which is a heck of a lot better than using all kinds of instruments that suffer from various, um, various uh, uh, downsides uh, to estimate flow rates when I can actually directly measure exactly what I'm trying to measure. So there we go. Let's go. So oddly enough, this is one of the few times that I actually like to use duct tape um, because this is just a temporary rig. Um, so I take some uh, duct tape and I'll tear off a piece and I folded the uh, lip of the garbage bag over uh, the wire frame of the coat hanger. Kind of stretch it out a little bit and put that down uh, like that. Now I'm going to keep working my way around um, and do this until we've completely attached this garbage bag to the wire uh, coat hanger. So we're going to just stick this up over here with the watch. And it looks like the bag is fully inflated in 3.1 seconds. 3.1 seconds. So now uh, I'm simply going to take the cubic feet of the bag, which is 4.01, and I'm going to do some math on my, my particularly favorite brand of, of smartphone. Um, so 4.01. Uh, and I'm going to divide it by the number of seconds, 3.1, and that gives me cubic feet per second. And I'm going to multiply, which is 1.29 uh, whatever, and I'm going to multiply that times 60 to get cubic feet per minute. And I have 77.6 cubic feet per minute. And again, I wanted to measure the volume of the airflow coming out of here, and so what I did was I built a capture hood, which has a known quantity of volume, and I timed it, which gives me the, the rate of time. And that's all we're measuring, is volume over time, cubic feet per minute. And this measures cubic feet, this captures cubic feet, and this captures the, the rate of time that it took to fill the 4.01 cubic foot garbage bag. Directly measuring exactly what you wanted to measure without estimation, without taking standardized air density pressures, um, uh, air density weights, and, um, and uh, standardized pressure exponents. You want to know how much air is coming out of a duct? Measure the volume of the air coming out of the duct with a garbage bag and an iPhone.